Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and ground. So I was getting this yesterday when I was at work, and it was like instant karma. It just like all of a sudden download came with instant karma. Okay. And it's like um, somebody did something to you that was very malicious. And it's like, huh, instantly, they regretted that shit because they got karma back for that. Tenfold. Okay, we have love here. And what else we have? <laughs> this is somebody that overthought everything. Look, love. Get some. It will cheer you up. And what does this say? Get the F out your head. Get in your heart. It misses you. So this person definitely missed like interpreted everything and they overthought a lot and you know that made them do some malicious evil shit okay period and huh, they were very much so in the energy of blaming everybody else they could never take their own fault like whenever this person did things to you or whenever this person said that they were going to do things for you and did not do them or was lying and was manipulative and couldn't just be honest and that's the only thing you said that you like the one of the most important things was and is to you, it's for, it's honesty. And this person can't do that. And they just like, they were never grateful. They were not in their grateful energy and they took advantage. So this person, because, huh, look, they broke your heart. What does it say? Fuck them. So because this person took advantage of you, um, you definitely just started taking care of yourself and they received some type of instant karma. They may be trying to hide this very well that like they didn't receive this, but it's like, huh, no, 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 no. Huh. Like, <laughs> they saying no, 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 when it's really yes, 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 yes. There's a lot of karma. There's a lot of things kicking their ass. There's a lot of, um, I'm getting spiritual punishment. Okay. And then detox right here. So this person may be overdoing it. Whether they are self-communicating. Um, <laughs> I meant to say self-medicating, but they could be like communicating a lot of lower vibrational thoughts to themselves and they have to get out of their head. And there's a lot of like things that they are regretting because they have received that instant karma for doing you wrong. Okay. So it's definitely like in the energy of they see you very much so being successful, working on yourself, making money, being very much so in the energy of just being your true authentic self. And they can't, they don't even know how to begin to do that. It's like so many layers that they need to unpeel to really look at their self and like, huh. look, some good shit is about to happen. So I, I do see that like huh, you there's some good things happening in your life. And this person tried to come in and try to destroy them and they, they couldn't do it. They were not successful because you can't mess with a chosen one. You know, whatever is yours is always going to be yours. It doesn't matter if somebody may try to delay it. Okay, that's all it is. It may be a delay, but it's not permanent, right? So I do see that this person was very much in the energy of just trying to, de to stop you. They may have delayed you, like I just said, but they didn't stop shit. They ain't stopping this. They so this is divinely guided by the most high. Short illness. So this person, whenever you're around this person, you could have started feeling really ill. Like like getting headaches, stomach aches, like shit like that. Um, different things could have started just taking place, and you're really, you're like, okay, this is my body sending me signals, but you may have ignored this, right? You may have ignored the signals. But oftentimes we do, we may just be like, okay, let me just pop a uh, um ibuprofen or something like that. But it's just like in the energy of this person was very sickening. Look. False person, putting the kipper deck on it. This person was false. This person tried to deceive you. They tried to go ahead and have their false ass energy. This is the type of person that go to church every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, is on the choir thinking they can sing, is a, a type of person that, um, you know, has a whole bunch of friends, can't sit their ass still, like friends. Can't sit their ass still, but they gossiping. They got, they're very gossipy. They on the phone talk, talking shit about everybody. And they very like, they act like they're holier than thou, but they really are nothing but a demon in disguise. But you saw that shit. This is a person that like, say, say if they go to church all the time or something like that. And they'll, they'll quote the Bible and, and like, you know, like it's all about reading it for yourself. That's the most important thing because like you can be around somebody and they tell you something and you don't not reading that word for yourself. Then like you can just believe them. So it's definitely about reading it for yourself. They'll, they'll sit here and say they're quoting the Bible, be quoting some shit that they said they sell. 
It ain't in the word from from first page to last. There's some shit that they made up. And they was like, well, um, like, and if you let them know about that whole situation, they'll be like, well, um, well, that's what it's kind of no. That's why you. It's very important for you to read shit for yourself. So it's definitely like you left this person where they was being miserable. You left this person being pitiful. You left this person being crusty, musty, dusty. And you're like in the energy of just, no. You're in the energy of just um, letting go. Because you see this? Bereavement. You you really had to just be like, okay, let me cut my ties. I thought this person was somebody who, but they're not. And I see how false they are. All these false activities that they're doing and all these things that they're trying to do to destroy me and my reputation. And they're nothing but evil and malicious. Cyber's right there. So it's like, you have to go ahead and just understand who you were. You had to go ahead and understand that you were this person that um, required growth. And you had to, like, not saying that we don't all be in low vibrational places at times. But you always, from your genuine core, you were always a person that really loved, really showed unconditional love. You were always a person that was very much so in the energy of doing, like, doing things for others and, you know, maybe not even getting shit back. And not wanting shit bad, but you were doing things out of the goodness of your heart. So, you know, as this person wanted you to have a very gloomy, very much so a lower vibrational, um, and have you to face, making you wanted to face some, a lot of grief and, grief and adversity, no, it's not happening. Because you were able to stay um, steadfast and have your faith. And in your faith, you have hope and big water. So there's like a lot of emotions behind your struggle. And there's a lot of things that you have had to go through, but it was for a reason. It was for a reason. It was for you to be able to teach others. And it was for you to be able to grow and also, you know, learn those lessons of life. Because life is all about um, learning, you know, different lessons and growing from those. And from those lessons, you're just creating your own abundance. And you're realizing that, you know, this person that was very miserable, that's exactly what they were. That's exactly what they were doing. Just trying to cause you some type of heartbreak. Just trying to, you know, um, separate you. You know, from your, you knowing that you're chosen, from you knowing, like, they were just trying to disturb your thoughts and trying to make you second guess yourself, but none of that shit worked. Like, like I said, very temporarily, that shit could have slowed you down, but huh, what do we have at the bottom of the deck? The ace of swords. You saw the truth. The most high pointed a light and shined a light on that whole situation and said, hello, my child. You are a chosen one. You have got to understand that there's going to be a lot of people that come into your life to try to kill, steal, and destroy, to try to disrupt you, to try to stop your gifts, to try to stunt your growth. And you cannot let that happen. You cannot let that happen. You need to go ahead and have your discernment up and proceed with caution. And anybody that's not really meant for to be in your life, let them go. Because whenever I tell you that this person is not good for you and show you something and guide you to the right way, you should be doing what I'm leading you to do. And you should not be listening to your thoughts but following your intuition. And that's exactly what you did, baby. And once you started doing that, it was you unstoppable, right? You are starting to get a reciprocation. You understand your wealth. So you're not just letting anybody get in your energy. You're not. It's like death be to those things that no longer serve you. And you're on the energy of being a butterfly, of being very much so that used to be that caterpillar. And you just have your wings and you're just able to spread them and understand that you have this transformational energy. You have this transformational touch. You have this transformational moves. How you do is just very beautiful. It's very graceful. It's just very loving. And as you do that and you continue to grow, nothing but blessings. Nothing but celebrations here with the four of wands. Nothing but, you know, this person being in very much so five of cups energy and regret for not doing you how they should have been doing you and treating you with the utmost respect from the beginning because you were always loyal. You were always genuine. You were always loving. You were always undoubtedly you, right? And we have the devil here. So this person wanted to wish your downfall, but guess what? It ain't working and it's not going to work because you are covered, because you are protected, because you are chosen from the most high, because you understand your journey. You understand your past. You understand where you are and you understand where you're led to be going, right? You may not know everything. Nobody knows everywhere that we're going to be going in the future, but you know the way to do it. You know that you're going to live through that positive energy. You know they're going to go towards your true north node. And you know you're not going to let anybody treat you bad. And you know that your self-love is going to be the most important thing for you to really just take care of and nurture. Because if you ain't good, ain't nobody else going to be good. And I see a lot of greatness just moving towards your life. 
Your whole life is changing. Your whole atmosphere is just shifting and a lot of abundance is just right here for you and you are definitely called to do some different things and it's going to be you that changes a lot. It's your vibration, baby. It is your vibration. High Priestess, continue to follow your intuition. It's not going to lead you wrong. Just like your intuition lets you know that this group, this people, this person was not for you and led you away and helped let you to go ahead and excel right in front of their face. <laughs> continue to follow that. It's not going to lead you wrong. I just have the energy of just greatness. Just greatness. Okay, now. Just a lot of greatness. Just hallelujah. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Positively. Let's see what else we have here with the last advice. Yes. You started improving yourself. You started improving your health. You started improving your wealth. And you started doing what you were called to do, baby. Absolutely magnificent. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Be assertive because you have the key. When you know you're led to do something, you go ahead and follow what you're led to do. Don't worry about any naysayers. Don't keep worry about anybody judging you. Just continue to do exactly what you're led to do. And you're going to get exactly huh, what you asked for. Exactly what you asked for. Huh. And that's success, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. All right, y'all. This is absolutely wonderful energy. Have an absolutely beautiful day on purpose. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs. Email me. And as always, peace, love, and namaste.